Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're going to be talking about Kate Moss and her daughter. Yes. Now, this is fashion. If anybody can get this video to Sheree Whitfield from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, we really need her to see what fashion is, okay? How you develop gowns and, and, and pieces, and they be artistic. See, that's fashion. That's fashion, darling. That's fashion. But we know Sheree ain't bullshit when it comes to her not paying. Sheree, 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 Sheree. This is what fashion looks like, my dear. A mother and daughter duo at that. But we're going to be talking about Kate Moss. 48 struts her stuff in a plaid ensemble from Bugatti Vinitas collection as she graces the catwalk during Milan Fashion Week. Okay. That was, um, wait a minute. Yeah. That was this week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Day today, I think. But anyway, yeah, she's sporting that plaid shirt. It probably costs a thousand dollars, y'all. But hey, that's what it is. When you got A list models, you got A list product, then you're gonna pay A list prices, okay? But anyway, it makes you feel good, I guess. When you because anybody, if they dress up and they look nice, they look good, it's, it's another type of uh self esteem being marked on that patient. I mean, not patient, but person, okay. Cause that, that, that don't look, that look like rich, 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 and then you gotta be the white folks. We, we got black folks that are rich. We got Indians that are rich. We got uh, Asians that are rich. Okay, but that's a rich looking type uh, ensemble that Kate Moss daughter was wearing in that gold. And yeah, she that's she go to. That's Kate Moss's daughter. Yes, doing the thing just like her mother. But anyway, we're gonna, gonna get into the story. Uh, we, we're focusing mainly on. Kate Moss, because the story is about her, okay? I just threw in her daughter's uh, photographs because she was just looking so cute. Now, see, that's fashion, Sheree. That's fashion. If anybody don't know who I'm talking about when I say Sheree, don't pay. Sheree Whitfield. Okay, Sheree for Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, commonly known as a no fashion ward. <laughs> she got Sheree collections, okay? That's only a name only. There's no, no type of um, outfits, no type of ensembles that you would get, okay? It's just a name. We don't retire. We're not even looking for her to come back. From the debacklement of her uh, launch of her fashion show right after the last season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We just want her to know this is what fashion looks like. Just embed it in her brain. Don't come out with nothing. Don't even come out with another logo. Okay. To us, Sheba Sheree is perished. It's dead. We loved it when it was uh, had life in it. The little moments that we saw on the last show. But, but we don't bear it, Sheree. Don't pay. We have buried it, Sheree. Don't pay. But anyway, all that pretty fashion out there. Money, money, money. That's all you can see. And it could have been cha-ching in Sheree Whitfield's account. But, you know, again, she don't pay. And she don't pay no attention either when it comes to knowing what fashion looks like, what models look like, what the runway look like, and designing a collection looks like. She knows nothing of that. Okay, but going back strictly to Kate Moss. Kate Moss strutted her stuff on the catwalk for Bugatti. Uh, Venice. Lady Spring Summer Collection in Milan on Saturday. That's today. That is today. The bombshell. The blonde bombshell. 48 opted for a bold plaid number from Bugatti's Lady Spring Summer Collection as she graced the runway for the Italian City's Fashion Week event. While striking up a pose for the cameras, Kate Mott. 
uh, excuse me, Kate made her way down to the catwalk and could be seen wearing a blue and white plaid overshirt with rolled up sleeves. Okay, that whole ensemble she got on from the jeans, well, no, from the shoes to the jeans to the plaid shirt, probably cost a thousand dollars or more. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, depending on who the designer was. Okay, because we know they were using nice fabrics. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um. She also donned a simple but classic white vest underneath and contrasted with a glowing, no, let me say that back. She also donned a simple but classic white vest underneath that contrasted with her glowing skin. Alrighty then. And paired the plaid number with a pair of matching denim jeans that clung to her thighs while flaring out at the boots. The beauty also donned a natural look for the event and opted for having her blonde locks and loose waves and to finish off the look she opted for a pair of black heel boots to elevate her height okay well she's a tall person anyway but it just is what it is and look at that little fellow and look at that Ooh, had a little cape with a, a suit a woman's suit with a cape now that's something else i don't know where she would be going with that other than fashion but that's kate moss's ensemble that she wore uh during um this week milan's fashion show she, she um, put herself in it, or uh, Winthorpe put her in it, or I don't know, maybe her agent put her in it. But she looks very simple, very plain, very chic, very denim for the fall coming. So I like that. Kind of made me look, made her look like a schoolgirl back in the day. Okay. But anyway, the whole lunch collection for um, the um, fashion show she was in will be launching in 2023. Okay. Yes. The catwalk sighting comes after Kate stepped out on the Versace at the party during Milan Fashion Week on Friday. The model showed off her figure in a thigh skimming mini dress with a halter neck and sheer mesh panels. She also flung a statement leopard print coat over her shoulder and boasted her height with a pair of perplex heels with heart shaped toes. Kate's uh, outing come as she celebrated the lunch of cosmos a move that marks her out as the latest celebrity to join the already convoluted health and wellness market okay but at four i guess it's european dollars uh four one two for the lot fans will be will have to dig deep for her products not not least the e105 golden nectar serum which contains the mythical tears of chaos a plant resin product on the greek island <laughs> so, mm -mm, we don't do it we don't do none of that black don't crack okay but anyway we need moisturizer best because we get kind of dry so i must kind of a little bit oily my daughter's oily while i'm dry so we, you know you need those um what do you call it uh well, they, they call them wellness products now, but we call them uh, cleansing products back in the day uh, to keep our moisture, to keep our skin looking very supple and all that kind of stuff, okay? But anyway, Kate is pulling out a skincare line just like seems like everybody when uh, spring and summer come in or they're working on it in the fall and they bring it out spring and summer, okay? So it doesn't... Um, we don't get excited when somebody in the celebrity world do another skincare line because it's always too much saturation out there. But people want to buy it because they like or love the person that's hosting or made the product, designed the product, I should say. Okay, because everybody's going to ride for their faves. And, you know, when they bring out perfume, they bring out clothes and other apparels, they're going to go support and keep them in business that way as well. So, um, let me see. The products made from potent natural substances are split into three rituals. I see, I don't like that. I don't like that. They could have said uh, pieces of samba, see, mm, which are said to balance the body and soul with the natural environment and the circadian cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, the website describes this, these rituals as embedding or enabling us to adjust to the rhythm of nature help us find inner peace and self-fulfillment and open a door to balance restoration and love uh, the first step in the supermodel's daily routine is the 
287 Dawn Ritual, which fills the body with positive energy. Can, can't you just have a law for that, y'all? Can't you just get on your knees or if you're too, uh, you know, disabled or whatever, you know, sit in a chair, sit on the bed. The law don't care which way you do it. He just wants you to talk to him, okay? Tell him what you want. Um, but I ain't got time to be put buying no skin serum and, and doing no, uh, that's been performed in a ritual or something to that degree. And and, and then it's supposed to, I, I, we ain't letting no type of spirits come up in here. So y'all do what y'all do, but mm, mm -mm. not for me, not for me. This include, um, 21, E21, antioxidant, uh, dial T to bring us gently out of the dream world, followed by E52 cleanser and E95 anti-aging face cream. Okay. It is then finished with the E12 sacred Miss Ada perfume, which envelops, envelops, envelops you with this hypnotic, wait a minute, hypnotic, yet grounding fragrance to provide a sense of inner peace. I don't think you need but the law for that you know what i'm saying i don't think you need but the law for that the morning skincare regimen comes in a slightly higher cost than lifestyle guru with a pantro uh similar morning routine kit the five step goop kit costs 265 dollars yep that's just for the rich and famous that, that's why rich and famous or loyal uh, fans of hers that you know really feel her products are the bomb in other words okay but that's all I got. I ain't got no more for this story. Um, buy at your own cost on your wheel. Her uh, skincare line. But that was just a little bit too much for me to take on with all that going on. Uh, might turn into a clown once I finish doing her uh, products uh, cleansing methods for her, her new skin line. Or I might start barking like a dog i don't know i don't I, i'll pass i'll pass but kate did slay yes she did she did slay in those uh outfit you just saw there and her daughter did the dog on thing too yes she did yes she did so uh happy um what do you call it milan fashion week to all who love fashion who all who love labels and all who just love looking rich you know what i'm saying <laughs> yes because when you look good, you feel good, you dress good, girl, you can't do nothing but elude positiveness. Because you know all eyes on you, and you don't want to disappoint. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more for this uh, particular story. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.